A Moment with the Queen. I am an on-air personality. I am not a sex kitten. The Queen speaks. I'll the Queen. <laughs> on Hard Rock Nights. two really cool guys talking with me right now. Phil Collin, longtime guitarist with Def Leppard and also Man Rays, and Simon Laffey, bassist for Man Rays. Hi, guys. Hello there. Hi. Hi, Terry. Have you had a, a day of it yet? <laughs> we're we're not, not yet. We're getting there. So we, we, we're about four in, so we're okay. We're oh, awesome. Relatively fresh. Well, let's start with Man Rays. You know, what a great group you guys have. I mean, you've got you on lead vocals, Phil. You've got Paul Cook that was in the Sex Pistols on uh, drums, I believe. Yeah. And then Simon from the band Girl. That is just a great super group right there. Oh, thank you. I listened to I Surrender. It's a wonderful, wonderful song. And I know it's um, on iTunes as of yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And, and Amazon and, and, and all, the, all the usual suspects. But all of that stuff, yeah. Amazing. You know, Phil, I have to ask you, you know, you've always sang harmonies and background with Def Leppard. And were you a little bit nervous about stepping out to sing lead? with Man Rays, or was that something that you had really always wanted to do? Uh, it's something I've always done, that, you know, as a kid. Now, you know, if you've ever seen, seen me in Def Leppard, you know that I've, I've got I've got overconfidence, so right. you know, that, that <laughs> never bothered me about you know being in a spotlight or anything. Yeah, I don't think it was it, Terry. I have to say, yeah, Phil doesn't really do nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you've got a good point there, actually. <laughs> but, but what was strange? I used to and still do. I have a real problem remembering lyrics. Yeah, even in Def Leppard, even songs that I've written, like even thirty <laughs> years ago, you know, I'll get it and I'll, I'll be singing the chorus and I go uh, completely forget what the lyrics are because what I think what happens. Yeah. Right, I start get carried away with the guitar. Yeah. Forget about the singing part. So when we first started the Man Ray stuff, it was a bit of a problem. I'd have all these bits of papers on the floor. That I'd, I'd be kind of verses and, and middle eights and bridges and stuff. I'd be singing them and I'd actually forget. <laughs> um, that is a bit of a problem. But I think I've, I've realized what it is, and I think it's the guitar playing part. It's, yeah. And I, I get carried away with that and uh, forget about That'd the lyrics. So much fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, really. So I'm getting better at it though because at first if you remember right when we done our first few gigs I'd be like wow god I can't believe I just sung that or did sing that you know <laughs> make something up as you go along right absolutely and you never know a lot of the time you can just like a shape that sounds more or less like the word that you're supposed to be singing and we kind of get away with murder right I want to ask you is this EP just a teaser for a new full length maybe uh, yes absolutely we um we actually gonna start writing and recording in, in January at some point um we We've got a, a bunch of stuff uh, already half done. I mean, this song, I Surrender, actually dates back from 2004. We um, we re-recorded the whole thing, but we, we kept Paul Cook's original drum track. Yeah. we done in a, in a little demo studio in London and uh, rewrote the song and, and recorded it over that. But uh, there, there's a lot more floating around, and, and we're, we're kind of anxious to, to get at them, actually. Very good. Well, I know that you, um, you also did some stuff with Debbie Blackwell. Is there any chance that... That you might collaborate with her on uh, maybe this next Man Ray's album or Absolutely. anything that you're doing. You know, we, me and Simon were talking about this. So like even even live gigs, yeah. it would be great to bring Debbie out because she's phenomenal. You know, you, you mm -hmm. hear at the, at the end of uh, uh, I Surrender, but also on All I Want to Do, and we we done a, a song for a movie called Take on the World. That was a, a, a super bike racing song, and, and oh cool, yeah, this song she's on that as well. So you know, it's amazing. Very nice. Well, I know that Simon, you were in the uh, group girl also with Phil okay. and what was that like coming over to be you know just kind of regroup and everything well 
Uh, we had an amazing time in Girl. We were young, we were wild, and, you know, all the excesses applied. <laughs> and, you know, I guess in many ways it kind of, we lost our innocence with that band. Yeah. Um, but we've always maintained our friendship, Phil and I. Uh, you know, we've kept in contact and obviously followed him through the meteoric, uh, you know, events of Def Leppard. And it was very easy for us to uh, reconnect musically. You know, we have a great empathy and a great solidarity and uh, a huge mutual respect for each other as well. So it's very easy for us to collaborate and write together. Such a great combo anyway. And you're also an author. I know you've got two novels out. That's right. Uh, it's just a, a, a new direction I've been pursuing over the past year or two while Phil's been preoccupied yeah. uh, with the day job. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for years. <laughs> I just thought I'd try it out. I'd give it a try. And I actually really enjoyed, I really enjoyed writing. I like the demands of it, the, the, um, the isolation of it. It, yeah. it was a really intriguing experience for me. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to carry on doing it. Well, that's very cool. I'll have to check those out for sure. Get Getting to Def Leppard, we're talking 100 million records that have been sold worldwide. And I know that you had this gig in Vegas where you actually did a residency there. And that's kind of where everything, you know, you did hysteria in the full sense of it, which you hadn't done for a while. Uh, we'd, we'd actually never done that. We'd never yeah. uh, an album all the way through. And, and what was weird, you know, it, the running order, you know, Pour Some Sugar Me come fourth, I think, on, on the album. And in a million years, you wouldn't put that fourth. You know, you'd have it towards the end. So we thought, it's going to be weird, but it, it worked so well. You know, we tried to stick as uh, faithful as we could to, to the original recording. So yeah. um, it, it worked great. But we also um, was our own opening act. You know, we, we'd go on and do a 45-minute set of just, uh, you, you know, just old stuff, you know, B-sides, rare songs, song, songs of High and Dry and Pyromania, um, and we changed that every single night, so you know, anyone who came down, any Def Leppard fan uh, absolutely loved it um, the, what was really interesting uh, just talking Man Rays, um, we've been getting a lot of feedback yeah. about I Surrender you know, people say, this kind of reminds them of the Def Leppard song that they were, they've been dying to hear for years, so we, we go wow, again, it's a compliment, we don't usually sound like Def Leppard, Man Rays but uh, the fact that, that a lot of fans are actually saying that is, is, is a really positive thing as well, I think. I think, you know, it's, it's funny you say that because when I heard it the first time, that's the feel I got from it. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and everyone said that. You know, we, we like I said, normally in Man Rays, we, we kind of steer away from that. If it starts getting too Def Leppard sounding, uh, certainly Paul and Simon will, will pull it back a bit. But for, for some reason, this song, it, it, it worked in, in, in the way that it is. So we, we just kind of left it with its own entity, if you like. It was kind of, uh, we, we just followed it, you know, and, and it turned out like that. Oh, very much you so. You allowed it, Phil, because I, I think yeah. I was the originator of this idea, wasn't I? So <laughs> if it had come from you, you might have been policing yourself a bit harder. And, and, yeah. and also, we can't get away from the fact that you are the guitarist in Def Leppard. So, you know, right. when you play guitar, it's going to sound like that. It does, absolutely. There is that, yeah. That is true, yeah. <laughs> going back to Girl, do you guys ever see pulling that together for anything in the future? Not really. I think we're so busy. We, we, we're kind of chomping at the bit to get, yeah. get Man Rays out on tour, you know. Definitely. And when, when people say, what about a girl reunion? We go, well, <laughs> there's, there's two fifths of girl. Well, it is sort of a, and, a girl uh, and, reunion. And, a, and one sex yeah. pistol. So, you know, you, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. That is very good. Do you think Def Leppard is going to record any new studio albums in the future? We are. Or? We're actually going in, you know, we, we've always, um, I, I'm actually just recovering from a, a tendon operation. Right? Oh. A tendon slid off the bone, actually. Ouch. I was just getting off the floor and it squelched. It was really weird. So um, I had to have this thing sewn back on. So I'm, I'm really struggling to play guitar at the moment. Wow. Um, we, so I'm actually learning slide guitar. I've got a blues album. Actually, Simon's going to be playing on it as well. Well, oh, cool. uh, it's going to come out next year, uh, Delta D, with Debbie Blackwell Cook singing. Awesome. Um, I'm relearning that play guitar. So um, my first date, if you like, where I have to play guitar is, is when I meet yeah. Simon in January at some point. And then February the 1st, we, we go into the studio with Def Leppard to do, to do new stuff, which, um, uh, again, I'm really excited. I think it, it's just great to be writing and, and recording and, and making new songs all the time. It's, it's, it's so much fun. Definitely. Well, very cool. Well, Viva Hysteria out now I surrender out now and I mean you've just got all kinds of wonderful things going on and we're going to look for more absolutely and Simon's book you know you can get that as well and that too yes that's right absolutely. 
Well, thank you guys very much. It's been a true pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. A real Thanks. pleasure to speak to you. And here you go. This is Man Rays on Hard Rock Nights.